Today we are in Notting Hill, which is one of London's most desirable areas. This property was bought by an architect back in 2016 for 1.5 million. He then spent another million completely redesigning the property. The front of the house stayed the same, but inside had a complete makeover and I can't wait to show you, especially the glass extension out the back. My name's Ivana Maxted and this is Home Inspired. This property is a beautiful, huge four bedroom house. Downstairs is completely open planned as well. You'll be able to see the brand new refurbished kitchen at the back. But first, let me show you this lovely living room. Lovely L-shaped sofa, big TV, two dummy fireplaces, and of course, the gorgeous bay windows again. Follow me as we come through to the newly refurbed kitchen, which is such a treat. It's definitely got the wow factor. Got a six person dining table, the exposed still beams above me, double height glazing there, letting in so much light into this beautiful open space. These LED lights, incredible. I can only imagine how cool they look at nighttime as well. I actually love the color of this table. Such a feature color, the green. Now let me take you into the main attraction down here. This is the brand new renovated kitchen. This really is your dream kitchen. Over four meters long of a big island right in the middle. Love a kitchen island. We've got an induction hob here, an extractor fan, a double sink, big long fridge freezer in here. Loads of storage space as well. And it's just kitted out with all of your modern appliances that you would need. Oh my goodness, it's so kitted out. I love an, an oven that's like a good height because you know ovens sometimes that are like down low, they're not good. As we come further down, this is the single story rear extension, which is my favorite part of downstairs because of all the natural light you're getting through these glass windows. Of course, there's another six person dining area there, a cozy little settee, but let's go out to the back garden through this. This door is so big, let's go outside. So this is a south facing garden, really nice desirable open space for this part of London as well. As you can see there's loads of greenery and trees behind me which I love. This is such a gorgeous garden, there's so many areas to sit as well, there's a little seat and chairs there and of course a place for six of you to come and dine outside. Now let's go back inside because there's four very cool bedrooms upstairs that I need to show you. I forgot to mention as well, there is a lovely small WC in the downstairs open space. As we make our way up to the black metal staircase, this is just one of the quirky features put in place by the architect who owns this place. Should we go upstairs? It's a really cool staircase that twists up to the second floor where there is another top floor bedroom. But first, let's have a look at the first one. So this is the main double bedroom, really, really nice exposed brickwork above us, really high ceilings. There's a lovely ensuite as well, which is part of the new refurbishment. It's got a beautiful clean finish, big shower head as well. We love a big shower head. Big mirror over here. As we move around the room, you'll see the lovely exposed steelwork above us, two floating wardrobes and the main attraction of this room, which I love, big freestanding bath. This is like a perfect egg bath. Look how big this bath is, it's actually amazing. And the view, you actually would feel like you're in a spa. This cozy little corner is the last cool feature of the main bedroom. It's got the glass again. You can see down into the downstairs area overlooking the dining room table. Lovely funky light you can see as well. But now let's go into that bedroom over there. As we make our way into the second bedroom of this lovely property, we will be going past the main bathroom. Again, it's beautifully finished, really modern, big shower head. This is a really cute little feature of the main bathroom. Little obscure window, like you think you can see in, but you can't. I love these little lights as well. Even more brick exposed up here. This is a very cozy second bedroom. Again, it's got the floor to ceiling glass, the exposed steelwork above me. So my favorite thing about this house is that you can actually see each other through the glass. If you have friends staying over in that bedroom, you can just you know, wave over, watch them having a bubble bath. They can watch you in bed doing whatever. <laughs> There's one more bedroom on this floor. So let's go and have a look. So this bedroom is really big and spacious. It's overlooking the front of the house. It's got the beautiful bay windows, which I love. 
and of course the sliding sashes are a really big feature of this bedroom too. This is reminding me of a chandelier which you could swing from if you're allowed to but you're not allowed in this property. If you look up at the ceiling you'll see that it's finished with the pitch of the roof which is the lovely feature of the bedroom. There's lots of wardrobe space as well which you we walk past as we make our way up to the second floor where the final bedroom is. Let's go. We are walking up the black metal staircase again. This one twists round into the final bedroom underneath the big skylight, letting in loads of natural light and sunlight. Let's have a look at the room. So part of the recent refurbishment of this gorgeous property was coming up to the roof space to create this fourth and final bedroom, beautifully finished ensuite as well. And of course, these two giant fitted skylights letting in so much natural light, which would be perfect for all year round. Should have brought my sunglasses. Could have a little sunbath up here. So that wraps up this home tour. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Also, if you want to stay here, the Airbnb listing is down in the description below and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.